today I'll be looking at a few community made uh, Xbox Live Arcade games and tell you which ones are good and which ones, well, just suck, so let's get this fucker started, shall we? Alright, first off we have Culture. Yeah, Culture. Yeah, look at the title screen. And, oh yeah, that's real nice, just leave the rest of my name off the fucking book, thanks a lot. So uh, let's see, let's choose, uh, let's choose Bloom Game. Alright, let's, alright, yeah, new game. And the main concept of culture is you have to paint flowers on this ball to get rid of this, and you have to draw it in a circle. That's all you do. You paint flowers. Yeah, this look exciting. It really isn't. Like, I'm gonna be honest, but this game really bored me. I mean, sure the flowers do look do look nice, but whoa. whoa fucking slow down much. Yeah, like I said, uh, flowers look nice. Got, they can change colors, and yeah, during that, they have to be the same exact color when you circle around those uh, fucking grubs or whatever the fuck those plants are. And that's pretty much all you do in the game. That's really nothing special. So I'd say, when this comes out, I'd say pass, because it just sucks. Alright, the next game is Jelly Car, and I'm gonna admit, this game is pretty fucking cool. Like, Especially with all the jelly physics in this game, like, watch. You drive up, you gotta transform into a big fucking jelly car, and then you just get to the end of the level, like that. But that was the easiest. The rest are pretty much hard as hell. And I do have a lot of problems with this. Sure, the physics are awesome, and <laughs> the sound effects are hilarious since they're very, very cheap. Which is fine, because it's community made. And there are moments like that, like, it's, that's cool and stuff, but... There's just one problem that- Oh, you son of a bitch. How could I just miss the platform by a few fucking feet? <sighs> okay, this is crusher level. Get my ass just handed to me. Like, you don't die because of you being crushed by all this jelly stuff, but... Like I was saying, the main complaint I have about this game is how the gameplay works. Like, sure, the controls work fine, but when it comes to, like, flipping the car like this... It's, it's just annoying and frustrating trying to get back to normal. See, now I'm stuck under there magically. Fuck. Get out of there. Ugh. So, all I gotta say about this game is, if the gameplay flowed a little bit better, unlike that, then this really would be something. I mean, hell, it's really crazy. And in fact, at times it is fun. I mean, sure. Not, I'm not gonna say anything about graphics, but... This game can definitely be a lot better. Next is Proximity HD. Well, I never heard of the first Proximity. I mean, if there was a first Proximity, there wouldn't be an HD next to it. So, let's start this. And... What? I, I can't play? That's bullshit. I need another controller for this? Come on! Oh. Okay, there you have computers. I'm playing against, I guess, Joseph Stalin. And... This is a... A number strategy game where you plant down numbers like that and you have to have a higher value to take it over. And I have a higher value, so now I got 46 fucking points. Take that, Stalin. Oh, you son of a bitch. See, look, a lot of the numbers you get it is random, and that kind of frustrates me, but that requires you to think, strategize about it, and as you can see, I'm in the lead later on. I mean, this can be fun. I mean, if you're into this type of game, I'd say pick it up. If not, then I'd say either try it or just pass it. If I can just find the number and take it over like that. Ha ha! Aw, you son of a bitch! So, I'd say, if, again, if you like this type of game, go ahead and try it out. Alright, rocket ball time! Extreme dodgeball, yeah! Okay, all this really is, is just dodgeball. You throw balls at people, dodge balls, make sure you don't get hit in the face with balls, and all the smelly balls and all that stuff. So really, you just do this. I mean, yeah, it could be fun if it's competitive, but I got bored with it really quickly. But you do have a health bar, which is, I guess, refreshing instead of one hit you're out thing that I'm sick of in a lot of these games. And all you have to do is just hit each other until time runs out and make sure you have the most points at the end. And then there we're fighting on the street, same thing. There are rocket power-ups, but it really doesn't do anything from what I figured out. I really don't know what it does. So, this is all you do, just play dodgeball. But 
what would have been awesome if there were environmental stuff like in the graveyard zombies and here you could have cars going by when you try to go in the middle that'd be fun but other than that it's just plain old dodgeball i mean it could be fun for a bit but i'd say try it before you buy it i mean sure i'm playing the demo only but still i'd say you should definitely think about it before tr buying it the next game is my personal favorite the dishwasher first of all i don't know why it's called the dishwasher and I probably won't get it, but whatever. Here's the story. How did I end up back here? I should be dead. I saw them rip my heart out of my chest. I mean, what the hell? Blah, blah, blah. FBI guys are gonna go kill this guy, so... The dishwasher's gonna go murder some FBI agents. Yeah! I'm gonna kick his ass with the theories. Now, I could definitely sum this, uh, arcade... This, uh, XNA game, excuse me. In a few words, it could be summed up as Devil May Cry for the arcade. I'm not saying it's a ripoff. I'm just saying it definitely seems like it. But which isn't a bad thing. I mean, I played this. This is kick ass in my opinion. Like, you're murdering people with all these weapons, all these moves, combos, and shit. And sure, at times it can be button mashing, but that's fine by me. As long as I get to murder people and have fun. That's the whole point of games, huh? isn't it? So yeah, you can finish people off like this, and most of the time when you do that, you got blood splattering all over the screen, kind of like Gears of War, and I gotta be honest, that's awesome. I definitely know what rating this will get, but I really can doubt it when it comes out. And another thing that can be like Devil May Cry, you purchase items, I think, and blah blah blah, you got all these items that help you. So when the dishwasher comes out, buy it. It's really, really fun. Okay, next we got Trilinea. Ugh, what, they couldn't fit an R in the, at the end of it? What the hell? Okay, here's the story. I must admit that I have never been interested in this game before. Blah, 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 I couldn't accept it. Blah, 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 it's all epic, I don't care. It's starting to make me feel like I'm watching Yu-Gi-Oh! All, all over again. Come on. Let's go through this shit. We don't need it. Loading, loading. Blah, 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 blah. It's, no one cares about text, so... Before the match starts, you gotta choose color and your number of spells, you got a whole list of them. I never understood the spells when I played this. All I know is that it's some sort of card game, and this is what you do. You pretty much have to line three colors up and just eliminate them, and lower your guy's health all the way to zero. And you just gotta love how they add, like, some huge epic music to this game. It definitely feels like Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, you know how epic the Yu-Gi-Oh! thing turn out to be? Like, what the hell? It's just a fucking card game. It's similar right here. I mean, I was literally laughing my ass off when I was hearing this music. Again, there's supposed to be strategy, but I really don't understand it, so... Again, it's not for me. It could be for some people. I mean, the board looks nice. I mean, de definitely could have something going with it, but... As far as I I know, it's just plain old card game. Oh, I definitely saved the best for last. Little Gamers. And from the title sequence, you might think that it really isn't something. Like, sure, then you see difficulty, noob gamer Lee, and let's just go gamer. Home sweet home, yeah. I mean, OMG, the house is infested with hippies again! And then, when you start playing, you realize you have to beat the shit out of everyone in your house. And I gotta be honest, I did not fucking expect that. This is great. And it gets better later on, and you'll see it. I'm not showing the whole game, but definitely, this is fucking great. So let's just move on, stab Granny in the eye, and... Oh shit! Boss fight, epic music, kill the fucker, you can't take me on, eat my knife of doom, you asshole, get out of my house! Woot! Kick that guy's ass, I win. And then let's just fast forward, and then you're in a graveyard, you have a gun now, pulling the shit out of zombies' heads. Seriously, I did not expect this at all, like, any of this, sure. Like, in the de and then you got Chainsaw, like, murdering people, oh my god. Even though they are zombies, and you got Shotgun and Beer, yes, a little kid drinking beer. Yeah, unbelievable. Now, this is definitely really fun, definitely side scrolling arcade-ish, really fun, really easy control. I'd say Little Gamers is pretty damn awesome, so check it out. And I hope you enjoyed my little X&A Games review, so thank you everyone.